into this YouTube video, man. I got you guys with my top five best loadouts users right now in Warzone 3. Hey, man, this one's gonna be a banger. So make sure you guys go ahead and like and subscribe to the YouTube channel with the bell can set on all just because missing in my bangers. And listen, man, let's go ahead straight to these setups real quick. Starting off first, man, we got right here is the striker, which is by far probably the best SMG that is in this game right now when it comes down to the sworn. I feel like that the striker is a little bit more of a balanced gun that not only is very, very good in those close range gunfights, but it's taking also go crazy in those mean range gunfights this thing's very very good when it comes down to slapping support okay but going to test real quick man start with the muzzle we are rocking this the colossus suppressor which will make it to where you guys are unattended by the radar and you also get great recoil control with this gun okay more to the second attachment which is for the barrel we are rocking this the striker stubby barrel so will give you split the fire speed and down sight speed a walk speed and you also get a walking steadiness okay more to that third attachment is for the under barrel we are rocking this the f tag msp 98 hand stop this will give you a walk speed vertical recoil good control and you also get movement speed okay this is the must use attack that you guys should be rock this should be rocking because you want the best of both worlds between having great recoil control but also keeping your mobility okay so moving on to that on uh, for the text man which is for the stock man we want even more mobility out of our gun and just so we can go crazy in those close range gunfights so we are giving our enemies that movement man we are rocking this that no stock attachment which is gonna get you aim down sight speed with the fire speed a walk speed and you also get pretty much hit fire and text then spread speed okay so make sure you guys are rocking that okay and the last test of course man is for the magazine we chose to rock is before the round man i would never recommend you guys to use the 60 unless you want to just just this troll with this gun however man rocking the 48 will do the trick for you but also man if you guys do want to uh, troll using the 60 round man i want you guys notice right now if you guys look at the cons you're literally killing your ads speed so that's why i would never rock this or uh, recommend this uh for you guys to uh to rock on your gun so please don't do it all right but listen though man this is the number one striker build that you guys should be rocking as of right now in warzone 3 man to drop high kill gameplays though listen man Go ahead and move on to the second loadout. For the second loadout, and this is absolutely my favorite loadout to use as a right now in Warzone 3. We got right here is the Tacky Radicator, which is an LOG, a DLC gun that you guys do have to unlock in multiplayer, where you can find different challenges in Warzone. But the main reason why I love this gun is just because, for one, this thing does not move at all whatsoever. You know how you guys see on YouTube a lot of people troll, like a lot of content creators say, no recoil this, um, ain't bought this, absolute no recoil this. Listen no recall if you was to think no recall this should be the only gun that you guys should to think about talk about and use because this gun literally is true to that when it comes out to no recall this thing does not move at all whatsoever and you do not have to even, even control it your grandmother can even use this if she really just wants to okay but if you're on console this is the gun that you guys should be rocking along with this damage Stay hits, okay? Let's go over this class up real quick, man. Start with the muzzle. We are rocking this the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor. So give you recoil control, bullet velocity, and you also get damage at range, okay? More to that same attachment, which is for the barrel. We are rocking this the Conqueror 70 Long Barrel. So give you aiming out of sway, bullet velocity, and range. Make sure you guys are rocking that right there. Under barrel, we are always rocking the Brilliant Heavy Support Grip because it's the only attachment that will give us that control. We get aiming out of sway, making it where we are super accurate with this gun. We also get horizontal recoil, and you also get fire aim and stability okay so listen man so you guys see people shoot this gun bro and you guys think that they're cheating we're not cheating bro this this is just literally how the gun is bro it does not move and this is why because this attachment okay more on to for the test man for, for the rigor man we reckon it's the fws combat grip which will give you firing aim and stability but we also get gun kick control and rigor control okay we're making it to where this gun does not have any type of kick to it at all whatsoever so make sure you start rocking that okay last test of course man is 40 style we are rocking this the tactic brew stock you will give you aiming out of sway fire aim stability and aim down sight spree and on uh, attack stand spread okay so make sure you start rocking that 40 tactic rider care now this is a lng so your biggest mag is 75 which is honestly enough enough to pretty much could like kill like an entire squad by yourself alone won't be foreign however if you guys want to be even more greedy with this gun then i guess man go and rock the 150 round drum which is absolutely crazy in my personal opinion all right but listen though man try this up man for the tack eradicator by far the best long range gun that you guys should be rocking let's go ahead and move on to the third best loadout for the third best loadout man we got right here is the wsp swarm aka the mac 10 even though that thing looks nothing like the mac 10 listen though man when it comes out to mobility bro this gun definitely has it it's definitely up there when it comes down to a striker the 
only thing I do not like about the WSP Swarm, uh, in my personal opinion, is that for one, this thing has a crazy kick to it. You cannot use this thing in a medium range gunfight. This thing is only great when it comes out to those close range gunfights because you are able to give people that movement along with that, bro. It has a quick fire rate, just so you are able to win those close range gunfights um, more often, okay? But going to these classes up real quick, man, start with the barrel, man. We are rocking this the WSP Infiltrator Integrated Suppressor. So you got kick control and recoil control. Like I said, bro, I like using my SMGs as a point as to the point where um, I like it to be very, very good in those close range gunfights and also be very, very good in those medium range gunfights, bro. I want it all, okay, when it comes out to my SMGs, okay? This is how I build it. I pretty much build it to have quick mobility and also have recoil control, okay? So make sure you guys are rocking this suppressor, okay? And listen, man, going on to the second attachment, which is for the underbarrel, we are rocking the DR6 hand stop. So you'll give you a walk speed and uh, sight speed, spit the fire speed, and you also get movement speed, okay? Make sure you are rocking that, okay? Third attachment for the magazine. We are rocking this the 50 round mag. The biggest mag out of this is the 100, which I would never use, by the way. Just go ahead and rock the 50. Um, for the fourth attachment, which is for the rigor, we are rocking this the Marauder grip. So we'll give you gun kick control and rig control, and you also get fire and aim and stability, okay? And more to that last attachment, of course, man, which is for the stock. We are rocking this the FSS Fortress heavy stock. This will give you gun kick control, rig control, fire aim and stability, and you also are getting a tax stand spread out your gun, okay? So make sure you guys are rocking that, all right? Listen, man, copy down that setup, man. 40 WSP Swarm, bro. Try out this setup, bro. This thing is crazy in those close range gunfights. I just wish that they would control the recoil uh, a little bit better. Who knows? This thing just might get a buff in the next update or so. 44th floor, man, we got right here is the M4. And listen, man, I'm not going to lie to you guys, man. A lot of the MW2 guns have been getting really slept on lately for whatever reason. But however, man, this M4 can still compete with those MW3 guns, all right? But going to the class setup real quick, man, start with the barrel. You guys know how we do it, man. Just like the OG days in MW2 Warzone 2. Make sure you start rocking that high tower 20 inch barrel. It's gonna give you bullet velocity and range, recoil control, and you also are getting hit fire accuracy, okay? Move to that second attachment, which is for your muzzle. We are rocking the Harbinger D20. to give you bullet velocity, fire aim and stability. You also get a recoil control out your gun, okay? Move on to that third attachment for the uh under barrel, guys. We are rocking this the M Tat Ripper 56, which will give you aim out of sway, hit fire accuracy. You are also getting a recoil control out your gun, okay? For the test for the magazine, we are rocking the 60 round mag. And for the last test, of course, man, which is for the real grip, we are rocking the second ZX grip. So you'll get your recoil control and so gun kick control out your gun, okay? No, Listen, man, try out the M4, bro. This gun is still crazy, and it's still probably the best AR or best gun that's coming out the M32 category, man. I highly recommend you guys go ahead and try this thing out. All right, man, for the last loadout, man. Listen, man, we got right here is the Baz B, but we're not using thing in a long range. Uh, we're not using thing as like a long gun where you kind of building it as like an SMG and listen bro when I say that this thing hits this thing hits bro and it's mobility it's almost as cracked out as the WSP swarm okay so going to the attack real quick man start with the barrel man we are rocking it's the crippling uh malice light barrel it's gonna give you undetectable by radar and down sight speed put the fire speed guys you're also getting it um and walk speed out your gun so make sure you guys are rocking that okay same attachments for the under barrel we are rocking is the Bruin heavy support grip we'll give you gun kicker Control and out of sway horizontal rico you are also getting fire aim stability okay third attachment for the magazine we are rocking is the 45 round mag and for the fourth attachment which is for the stock guys we are rocking is the no stock attachment because it's getting fire speed and walk speed movement speed and hip fire and tax stand spray okay it's very very important because it's increasing your mobility with this battle rifle by a lot okay it's gonna make to where you guys are able to compete against those SMGs and those close range gunfights okay and the last attachment of course man which is for the rigor man we are rocking it's the XTT88 grip, which will give you recoil control, gun kick control. And you are also getting fire and stability, okay? Listen, man, that right there is my top five metal loadouts to use as of right now in Warzone 3, man. Comment down below if I missed something on this list that is actually meta and I just didn't cover it, bro. Comment it down below and I'm going to try to fix it the next time, all right? But listen, though, man, I hope you guys have a blessed weekend, man. Other than that, thank you so much, man. Peace.